Welcome everyone to RFSportsRadio.com. As you can see, we're not in the studio right now. We're in Jerry's studio, AT&T Stadium, for the broadcast of the Soto Eagles taking on the Allen Eagles in the Texas High School Football Playoffs. This will be the third time this team has squared off in the last few years in the playoffs. The Soto has lost the first two times, and Allen has gone on to win the state championship because of that win. Now, the Soto has got a high-powered offense, an okay defense, but they're going to have to put up a lot of points today. Host Rob, I'm here with Robert Washington, going to be calling the game. What do they need to do to get a win today? Today, the offense has to roll like it's normal, normal way. Patricia Wallace in with the run game, a little passing. Defense has to secure on the back end. No long passes, make good tackles, and special teams always has to do their job. And they'll have to do a big job today on defense when they're going up against Kyle Murray, the Texas a and recruit, had six touchdowns last week for Allen. What does that defense have to do to finally see this guy down? They gotta contain him. They can't let him get loose. Keep him in the pocket. Don't let him get outside. Once he's outside, it's over. And Tristan Wallace comes back for the Eagles started last game. He's gonna play a big role here tonight. We're gonna see a lot of players maybe go both sides of the ball. Either way it goes, it's going to be a big battle, a big war today. I can't wait to get the game going. So stay tuned right here on rfsportsradio.com for the DeSoto Eagles taking on the Allen Eagles, the battle for it all.
just witnessed the player of the game, Allen, with no time on the clock, goes around. No time. Kicked the field goal to win 25 to 22. Both of these teams played extremely well. I thought they played to a tie, and it came down to a field goal late. And what can you say? Great game. Uh, Soto played great. Allen played great. Allen just had one more great play than DeSoto did in that tip uh, deflection for the completion. And getting off the field, they had maybe eight seconds to get the offense off, special teams on. They made it happen. Half a second to spare, kick in the air. That's game. That's Texas high school football for you. And you mentioned how that's really showing that they're well coached. Very that's well coached. That's a drill that you run during practice, getting guys off, getting guys on. And Kyler Murray, I thought, was had an excellent game. Had all the touchdowns that Allen uh, scored today. Yeah. Plus, he was able to get the ball down and get a snap. For DeSoto and Coach Mathis, I mean, what can you say? He's been stopped three times by Allen in the playoffs. I thought they really had a chance this time. They were leading again in the fourth quarter. And then that flute play, that, yeah. that tip ball, I mean, it, it was a flute play from what I saw here. It, it's a new Jerry's world, but it looks like the football guys are here from the old one. I mean, that that play, you couldn't have drawn it up any better for the Allen Eagles. And for them to capitalize on that, hey, my hat's off to the team, the coaching staff, and definitely the players that made it happen. Especially, uh, my hat goes off to this DeSoto Eagle team. We followed them all season. You had a great season. Hold your head up, guys. You played championship football today. Absolutely. The DeSoto defense and secondary stood up. A.J. Green had a great game. Tristan Wallace had a great game. Bryce English had a great game. And for DeSoto, they'll, they'll come back. They got a lot of juniors, a lot of sophomores. They'll be okay going to the next season. And for Allen, they'll move on to maybe another uh, state title, a third one in a row. Right. I felt like the winner of this game will win state in a few weeks. And right now, Allen looks to be that team. Hey, I'm anxious to see can they pull it off. I'm rooting for the young man, Murray, the new A&M Aggie recruit, to do his thing. He's had a great high school career. Why stop now? Take it on into college. So we're signed out here from at and Stadium. Rodney Fisher, Rob Washington, Coach Rob. Make sure you follow us online at rsportsradio.com. And also Casey Jackson as well, too. Roy Fisher, Omar. I'm, I hate to miss it, man. But, again, you probably would have been you probably would have been jumping out of here and crying yeah. one and two. Yeah. I know you. All right. So <laughs> let's stay tuned. We'll see you guys uh, next season.